413 steps. That's how far I live from Holy Trinity High School. If you come through the parking lot, it's 376 steps. Since I was four, Holy Trinity has been in my backyard. But it took so many more steps for me to find my way there. As a kid, I didn't pay much attention to Holy Trinity. I walked past it when I was going to the store with my mom or to the bus stop to see my grandma. I remember seeing students come out of the Division Street doors. All I saw was uniform. But I never imagined that I'd be wearing one someday. Instead, I focused on sports, making friends, and just making it through grammar school. I attended Alcott College Prep in Lincoln Park. During those years, my school became increasingly less diverse with me in the minority. It was hard being in a place where there weren't a lot of people like you, having people question why the way, question the way I spoke, trying to mimic me or bully me. Whether or not I talked about it, growing up, I just felt out of place. Life at home also felt hard. My dad passed when I was little, so all of my support came from one place, my mom. She worked long, hard hours to provide for my brother and me, and I'm incredibly grateful for her sacrifices. Nothing came easy. My older brother wasn't the most jubilant person in our home, and his chipper attitude only increased when my mother was injured on the job and could no longer work. So, I poured my energy into playing sports. It was on that soccer field that I found my outlet. I could leave the stress of home and the stereotypes of school behind. To be honest, I was late to the game when it came to my academics, and my grades showed it despite the best efforts of my tutors from the Cabrini Green Tutoring Program. Mark Knievel and Rebecca Newport began tutoring me in second grade and stayed with me when we moved to the Chicago Lights Tutoring Program in seventh grade. We've been through a lot together, ups and downs, wins and losses, but they stuck with me and became part of my family. It was actually Mark, Rebecca, and Alex Cornwell, a director at Chicago Lights, who showed me the way to Holy Trinity, the school in my own backyard. They saw promise in me, but knew high school would be a challenge. They knew I needed an environment where I could walk alongside people that would give me the necessary support to fulfill my potential. So they teamed up with my mom and me and sparked my interest in Holy Trinity and the Peak Scholarship Program. The first time I stepped into the doors of Holy Trinity was for a shadow day. Now remember, all I knew about the students was that they, were, they wore uniforms. Uniforms everywhere, fleeces, khakis, brown shoes. <sighs> in an effort to blend in, I put on my best slacks, a college shirt, and I have to put this on over anything nice sweat. I set off down the block and took those 413 steps with one goal in mind. I remember walking up those steep stairs into a crowded hallway, not sure where to go. The classes and students seemed so big and so new. I remember being greeted by HD's five values. Excellence, discipline, integrity, zeal, and family on a big blue poster. At the time, they were just words, but today, there's so much more. But we'll get to that later. My student ambassador, Markel, was one of the main reasons I chose Holy Trinity. He showed me that at HT, high school is what you make it. High school can be a hindrance, filled with a hindrance filled with stress and teenage angst, or you can set your course for excellence. I also saw that Holy Trinity was a culturally diverse place a place where I could belong, a place I felt safe. And later, I would come to find that HD is a place of widespread acceptance, and that's what makes us a family. So I took the first steps toward Holy Trinity. I applied for and was awarded a full four-year peak scholarship. Through that special partnership between Peak and Holy Trinity, I was given many opportunities to help me transition into high school. That summer, my freshman year, those 413 steps became my new routine. 
I attended class with the other peak freshmen. Then, on the first day of freshman orientation, I met my best friend, Brianna, one of the biggest motivators I've had throughout high school. I was receiving my first taste of what it meant to be part of the Holy Trinity family. I was also paired with the, I was also paired with the peak mentor, Tunde. This relationship is very important to me. Since I don't have a father figure, Tunde makes sure I have everything I need, from giving me a ride to lending me his ties. <laughs> he checks on me every chance he gets, even when traveling for business. He FaceTimes me before finals for that, one last you got this. You know, before a big test or before a big corporate meeting, you need that inspired, that inspiration. But it's not all business. Of course we have fun. Our go-to chill spot is the AMC Theater right down the street where he loves to try to beat me in all the arcade games. But let's be real. My freshman year was rough. Thankfully, I immediately joined the soccer team, which was a big motivator because if you got any grade below a C, you couldn't play. Plain and simple, I had nothing below a C, which kept mom happy. When soccer season ended, I didn't know how to use my time wisely, and everything started to slip. I felt overwhelmed, lost. I ended up on academic probation with Peak. That's when I discovered what makes Holy Trinity so unique. The Peak team and my teachers stepped in and began pushing me. I went to the Peak room every day after school, learning how to prioritize my homework and manage my time. I met with teachers one-on-one, -on -one, where I not only got academic support, but personal encouragement. The teachers treated me like one of their own and were passionate about helping me learn. Once I let them in, it wasn't just my mom standing on the sidelines cheering me on. I had the entire school behind me pushing me to my fullest potential. I'm proud to say that I've been on the honor roll or high honor roll every semester since the beginning of my sophomore year. I was so surprised by how good it felt. But I also realized that I wasn't working this hard just to see my name on the list. Now, I was doing this for myself, proving that my time at Alcott did not and will not ever define me. I set my sights on college for the first time and finally realized how much work it would take me to get there. But this time, I wanted to do the work. It wasn't just my academics that made strides. It, it's like a switch flipped inside me, really. I was able to start opening up and let other people in and walk beside me. Not only pushing me, I too pushed others towards excellence both in the classroom and on the soccer field. With my grades where I wanted them, I got to walk on the soccer field focused, more focused than ever. With my coaches, Coach Kang, who cannot be here tonight, and Coach Larry, who I talked to, recognized my drive and dedication, I knew I was an important part of the team. Their confidence in me inspired me to want to be a leader. I worked diligently for the next two years to earn the respect of my teammates and my coaches. It was my senior and junior year that I earned the captain position. In doing so, I was finally becoming a man I could be proud of. A man that would not be defined by stereotypes a man that demanded excellence from himself and others. I got to this place because of five simple words that I saw on a poster board the first time I walked into Holy Trinity. Excellence, discipline, integrity, zeal, and family have become so much more than words. They've become personal. They're embedded in my mind and heart they remind me each day to walk through HT's halls with integrity, to welcome guests into the building like family, to express an overwhelming zeal, whether I'm walking into mass or walking onto the soccer field, to complete each project with discipline. And no matter how many steps you must take, always take those steps towards excellence. So what's next? In the fall, I plan to attend a four-year college and pursue a degree in psychology and with the intention of gaining my PhD. As 
As I think back on my four years of early Trinity, I actually look forward to graduation. I see how far I've come. It may be, it may only be a parking lot that separates my front door and my locker, but my journey has taken me so much further. So I ask tonight, will you, like my teachers, coaches, and mentors,